Do you have any idea what you got this year? Probably, uh, probably as much as I have in other years, really. Uh, you know, I think a lot of the focus is on question marks that we have, uh, especially offensively, running back and, and quarterback, and that's obviously those are big question marks. But I think in, in a lot of other areas, we, uh, we have a lot of good players and uh, some good returning starters, some good new guys ready to step in there. And, you know, the reports I got from the summer conditioning program is that we had probably, um, well, not probably, I think definitely had more here during the July than we've ever had in the past and that the uh, consistency of their work was the best. So I think that sends me a good message as to how important the players think the preparation is for the season. Yeah. How much of a decision do you guys have in to, to settle on a quarterback before the game gets too far closer to your first year opening game? And we have a big decision. We have a big one. And um, I hope that Excuse me, in the first um, four to five days, we'll be able to make a decision as to who will get more of the reps and who won't get more of the reps. We've got to make, we've got to start narrowing it down. We can't, we can't go into the second week of preseason practice getting five quarterbacks ready. I mean, I promise you, I'm not that good to do that. And, you know, it, it's, uh, it, it's hard enough to get one ready, you know, much less trying to get that. So we've got to, we've got to narrow it down. How much of your decision is what you see on the practice field and how much of it is what you might see in the meeting rooms or even in the locker room? It will be, it will be, yeah, it will be, everything will be into consideration. But obviously we've got to see performance on the field. We've got to see consistency on the field. We've got to see decision making on the field. And then the other things so far as understanding the offense, so far as leadership traits and things like that all play into it. But a lot of it will take place on the field. A lot of people in the area have watched Sean's career development mm -hmm. at Oscar Smith. Uh, just curious what you see that he brings to the table. Well, I, I think it's a lot to be said for a young man to graduate uh, in high school and come right to William and Mary, a very, very challenging academic situation to say the least, learn a whole new offense and be thrown into spring practice and come out of it even up with other people. I mean, that, that's, that's a pretty strong accomplishment right there, I think. I mean, and he, he, he's right in the middle of the, the battle. So I, I think up to this point in time, he has uh, uh, he, he's handled himself extremely well. What do you expect from Daniel Kuzjak this year? What do you need to see? Well, I think, you know, Kuz is a, a really, really consistent receiver for us. He's a, he's a leader on our offense and just a, a very tough, consistent receiver. And I look for him to be one of the leaders on offense and out of the receiver court. Yeah. 38th season. Yeah. How do you feel? Well, I feel okay right now. I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, if, they, if, if I didn't get keep reminded on that it was 38, I probably would feel a lot younger. But uh, hey, whatever it is. I mean, are realistically, are you on a year, year to year deal? I mean, what, 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 at what point? I've always been on a year to year deal. <laughs> Pretty much here, I've always kind of said, okay, we'll go this year and see how things are, and go, you know, keep on going, and that's kind of the way we operate. I mean, is your enthusiasm still as what it's always been? Oh, I, I, I think, I think things change obviously over the course of time. I think you, you know, but uh, yeah, I'm excited about seeing. You know, college football is pretty neat when you get to uh, basically reestablish your team every year. Uh, that's that's a neat challenge, and you know, we different coaches, different players, and all that. So yeah, that that adds to the excitement. What do you see as the strongest part of this group coming in? Of the entire team? Yeah. Well, I think the depth at receiver is uh, very noticeable. I think our offensive line on the left side is as good as it's been for quite some time. And I feel like overall defensively, especially in the second year, we've got some really solid players. So I think we've got uh, some good areas of, of strength, and then obviously we've got some areas of concern. The ACC is talking about limiting the number of FCS or trying to influence the schools to limit the number of FCS teams they play. Mm -hmm. What kind of impact would that have on your future schedule? Well, that certainly would have a, a, a big impact because we, uh, you know, we've been playing, uh, you know, ACC schools pretty much for a good while now. Obviously, with Virginia this year and all that, and I, I think it's a great opportunity for us to challenge ourselves in a um, big time environment. And I, I would hope that we are able to keep doing it. How much has that gap narrowed though? between one AA and one A over the course of the last 20, 30 years that you've been How is it narrowed or how is it? No, how is the gap? The, the, the gap it's widened. Because <laughs> a lot of people think that gap is nowhere near as wide as it used to be talent-wise. Well, well, 
with the reduction in scholarships at their level and the, the way that you guys have recruited and the way you guys have built up? Well, I like to think we build up, but there's a lot of there's a lot of differences, you know, and uh, I don't think you have to add up the dollars and cents too much to recognize the amount of money spent on those levels and the amount of money spent on our level. It's, uh, it's quite different, quite do you, different. you still get as much out of those yeah. games as you always have in terms of playing and the kids get Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. I, I know our players are still very much uh, excited about that opportunity. They, they look forward to it, and they compete. And that's what, you know, when we... When we're recruiting players, that's one of the things that I want um, in talking to them is I want guys that are up for that kind of challenge, that want to compete, you know, that maybe feel like they should be playing at that level. You know, I want to say, okay, let's go. We're going to give you a chance once a year. We're going to give you a chance to show it, and let's do it. And over the years, we've been, you know, relatively successful in so far as at least competing with them. Do you see that your guys are excited to play Virginia that season opener? Right now, I just hope they're excited to open, get ready to practice. That's right now. That's, that's where we're going right now with it. I'm sure they will be when time comes. Some of the guys that talked about that I talked with, have it, they said they have a chip on their shoulder, which what you were talking about. They weren't recruited by Virginia. You know, everybody's got to come up with their own individual motivation, I guess. And uh, that, if that's the case, that is the case. But, uh, again, I think it, as, we, as we're looking at it now, it, it, playing the opening game against Virginia certainly adds um, – a little bit of sense of urgency in preseason practice uh, adds a little bit of maybe uh, extra focus in preseason practice, but it's still we've got to work to to improve and get better every day. And we got to take care of ourselves too. That's the thing I I, I I really have to emphasize with players is not you know it's not like you're thinking about what Virginia is doing or not doing or how they're doing. It's it's us taking care of ourselves. Another local guy, Devonte Dedman, uh, senior. What do you? Uh, well, I'm hoping he stays healthy. I hope we can get uh, you know get him to play every every game because I think he's a game breaker. I think he's a big play uh, player, and uh, he's one we certainly would want to get the ball in his hands and get something happen. Whether it's catching the ball, excuse me, catching the ball, uh, or returning kicks or whatever the case may be, but uh, he's an explosive player, and uh, I just want to be able to keep him in the lineup, keep him healthy.